Okay, welcome to, wait, I don't even remember if we had a first call of 2016 yet. I think we did, but if we did, welcome to the second call of 2016. Um, or maybe it is the first, I don't know. Either way, we have some basic stuff to go over. If you haven't looked, um, in the coach group, there is a file with days and times to sign up for a call with me. And in order to do that call, it's a call really about goal setting and direction with your business. Um, you know, I find that a lot of people don't know what to do in order to get to where they want to go. So that's what that call is for. And there is also a form that you have to fill out at least 24 hours prior to your call so I can review it. If you want to do the call tomorrow, I want to say it's at one. No, I think it might be at 830 tomorrow. Check in the group. Um, to see what time it's at because I don't remember and if that's the day and time that you want to sign up make sure you do the form like right after this actually just sign up and do the form right after this call in general because this can be really huge for you guys um, just to get some focus on where you want to go it's the beginning of the year you have a ton of um, you have you have so much ahead of you and yes yeah, Stacy I know you have 830 tomorrow it's groups of three so it's three people at a time. Um, so yeah, there's that. There is the um, clean eating group that starts tomorrow in the accountability group. And people can still get in. It just requires a free coach sign up. And you'll just add them right into the group. Um, with this one, it's going to basically be the same thing as before that we've done. But I added in a flexible and a structured meal plan because I find that some people actually do like a structured meal plan where, um, you know, you eat this, 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 and this, and that's it. Um, so that'll make it easy for some people, but they do have that option about which one to choose. So that's something that you can tell people before they sign up. The, we are doing a mock team cup. Right I think Jill has named it the Dixie cup. Um, so basically it, Teams of, I want to say like six, six of us that signed up per team. There's two of them so far. If you want to do it with us, you are more than welcome. We will welcome you onto our teams. Basically, it's me and Heather leading them off. Um, and there is no prize other than there are double success club trip dollars this month. So this is the month where you want to hit the most success club points that you can possibly hit this year. Because say you get 10 points, you're going to get um, double trip dollars, which normally you would get $10 per point when you get success club 10. So that would equate to a hundred dollars. You will get $200 if you get 10 successful points this month. Um, I actually got like $280 of my cruise that's going to be, um, in March paid in January of last year. So this can be huge. Um, also, <laughs> another huge thing is the Success Club trip sign up is tomorrow. It is a $300 deposit. Yes, I know it can be scary to make, but it is a huge investment into your business. And honestly, if you trust yourself, if you know that you're going to do something with this business, you better get your ass on that. Because, I mean, for one, people see that you're going on these trips and they're like, holy crap, that is amazing. Like, no other place no other businesses, I mean, other, but um, normal jobs, they don't just give you trips for hitting your goals. It's insane what we get as coaches. And yes, Heather just said credit card. That's where mine's going. Right now I have like no money because, you know, my life. Um, mine's going on a credit card because I know that is super vital to my business and it's it's just fun too. I am so excited for what 2016 has to bring. Um, I mean, I'm going to LA this month. I'm going on a cruise in March. I'm going on a diamond retreat in April and then summit in July. That's all because of coaching. That's what you guys can get from coaching. So get your asses on it. Um, let's see here. So we got that, that, that. Team Cup sign up, the actual Team Cup, not our fake Team Cup. Um, it will be on 
the 18th, I want to say. I don't remember the exact date. Just check in your online office and check the coach group for that. Um, tomorrow, Cafe Latte Shakeology comes out. Ah, I'm super excited to try it. Jill is the only one out of all of us that has tried it, and she said it is the bomb.com. Um, so if you want your Shakeology to be that flavor this month, make sure you call tomorrow or you change it in your online office because you can't do that before tomorrow hits. Um, there is also going to be a three flavor box, which is going to, it's called barista, I think, and it's chocolate, vanilla, and cafe mocha, uh, cafe latte. Um, and let's see here. I don't think there's much else to go over. If there is, I'll be sure to post it, but I really just want to dive into this call because I want to hear from all of you. I am not going to start off, Heather is not going to start off, Jill is not even going to start off, none of us are going to start off. You guys are going to tell your story, we are going to give you feedback on it, period. And I told you guys to be prepared, I'm not going to wait for you all to just be like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to, no, I'm going to call you out. So, Stacy, you're going to start. <laughs> Workout. Great, thanks. <laughs> um, well, my um, my story, I guess, has it's just a continuing history ever since I remembered I have been overweight. Um, you know, wearing girls' husky size, um, all that type of thing. Um, I don't think I've ever actually put this in any of the stories I've shared, but actually, um, I was in Colorado marching band, having to have a separate uniform made because they didn't have a size big enough for me. Um, and um, I was a latchkey kid. I always, you know, had kind of free access, and I think it made me a better independent person. But um, cravings food-wise, it was, you know, convenience and kind of free access to whatever I wanted. Um, and I um, didn't start having kind of medical concerns till I came to a doctor up here in college, and she started doing aggressive um, blood work and. Actually, I think even before I was pre-diabetic, I was um, having horrible headaches and found out it wasn't migraines or anything, but it was blood pressure. I think I probably was you no know, more than 25 when I started taking high blood pressure pills. Um, and I've been hovering, I'd say probably five years um, in the pre-diabetic phase, like the fasting blood sugar, like being like one or two points over um, what a normal fasting blood sugar should be. And... Um, just you know my husband when I finally got him to go to a doctor after he we got married he's on four blood pressure pills so we just didn't have a good healthy lifestyle and um, it wasn't kind of one magic moment I mean there was you know Weight Watchers in there a couple good you know few weeks at a gym and things like that but um, Jennifer Druniak and I went to college together we lived in the same dorm um, freshman year and we were Facebook friends, so she posted last April, I think it was her first month of 21 Day Fixed Results, and it was like some, I think probably like 9 or 10 pounds, like 11 inches or something like that, and, you know, I'm a crazy shopper, I got, you know, credit cards built with the wazoo, you say there's not even like $300 credit cards for the trip, sorry guys, you know, like that's how bad it is right now, um, but it's, um, and I was like, well, I can do that, and I don't even think, and it and it's so it's hard for me when I come across objections of price. And I'm like, it was a lot of money, but it's just like, I saw it, you know, Jen and I were that similar. So I just said, well, we can do it. You know, like we had similar lifestyles in college. And so I just did it. And I just, I don't, you know, I just said, this is what it is. And I've always said when I post about it, I love structure. So I think that's kind of what hit me, um, you know, having to be accountable here every day, to people online and making a meal plan and like I said, it's, I'm not like you know I don't carry it around like a Bible or something but the foods all made it's in there um you know it's not always perfect the weekends are usually fairly laissez-faire but I just you know I think the first month was the most structured and I had really great results um but yeah so I just you know I went to the doctor my blood pressure was already like 20 points better and that was a few months ago um so I became a coach at the end of July my very first 
coaching call or like a preview into coaching event and um, broke the 300 club as I know Krista did uh, actually yesterday I've been playing with it around Christmas so um, 35 inches and 34 pounds since May um, so it really is you know kind of like it's you know it's something it's, it's awesome to feel but it's kind of hard to visualize because I think some other people have said it in other groups like um, I was watching Krista's video today like on the verge of crying and um, you know, never, I don't have like a goal picture, a skinny picture to look at. So it's all kind of this in my brain, like what it could be and what it could look like. Um, so it's kind of exciting to think about, but I don't have like an old visual or something to move towards again. Um, but that's my totally off the cuff running around trying to work out today. <laughs> I am prepared because I've said it before, but. <laughs> no, honestly, it was good. The um. I, I liked how you said how you felt in the past, um, you know, what drew you into this? Like, it wasn't just one specific thing, but it was a multitude of different things. The only really suggestions that I have are kind of keep it like, you're a little like squirrely where you just like kind of bounce around. Um, try to keep it a little bit more cohesive and just continuing. And, um, you know, when you're telling your story, because there's a you have multiple different stories you know one story is not your entire story there are so many different parts of you and um just remember that when you're telling that I'm just kind of like bouncing off the subject right there but um for when you finish you know like when you're actually talking about your story and you finish talk about how you feel now like how awesome do you feel? What, what has, how has that impacted your life? What, it, how has your life changed because of that? Um, so that's really the only critique that I have. Heather or Jill or anybody else? I, um, oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead, Jill. <laughs> oh, I was actually going to say that for like a video or something, like that's a really long story to have in the post. But like for a video or like when you're talking to somebody, I was like hardcore listening to that. I love that story. Like it was riveting. I know it sounds kind of corny. Stop it, people. But it was like riveting. I loved it. <laughs> um, I was just gonna say that, like Angel was saying, like you have. I mean, she said it was like a tangent, but like you, um, all the things that you said that, like she was saying that you have multiple stories. Those are the things you want to breadcrumb. So like, even though you don't have a visual goal of what you want to look like, you could have your goal to be like, you know, the next time you go to the doctor, your blood pressure drops by another 20 points or something like that. Like it doesn't have to be a physical goal or something like that. So you could share that too. Like you could even include that into your posts and, you know, have your, have your goals be that you want to get off your blood pressure medication. It doesn't have to be physical, but all of those things are things that other people like like before, when you were, before you started this, that's things that other people struggle with. So you want to be sharing those things and that like, you know, it, it did help you break the 300 club and stuff like that. Like those are hard things to share, but those are the things that people can relate to. So that's where I would just suggest going off of that stuff. And an, an idea for like a post on that is like to get people engaged and really listen to your story because the blood pressure thing and the, the whole 20 points thing, that's different than everybody else's story. A lot of people our age or age don't really have those kinds of issues um, or they're, you know, different issues. Like everybody has got different issues. So like to get people involved, I think it'd be an awesome idea to like put like a big picture of the number 20 and have your Facebook friends guess what that means and then like go on and tell that part of the story. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, all right, so awesome job, Stacy, especially since you headed it out. Um, all right, we're gonna move on to Lisa, because I honestly don't know any of Lisa's story, so I'm excited to hear this. <laughs> um, all right, my name is Lisa. I've been married to my husband, Rich, for 10 years now. We have four children. Brianna is 14. Noah is going to be nine next month. Matthew is six, and Brayden will be three. Um, 
we had like I, i'm not gonna tell you our marriage is perfect because it's not i mean we've definitely had our share of ups and downs but we've been to the moon and back and back again um before i got married i was well actually i've always been passionate about health and fitness and i used to be a fitness trainer at various gyms i used to run 5k runs and i used to lift after I got married and I had my first son, I really let myself go. Like I, I actually gained only 14 pounds with my first son, but I, I don't know. That was like a lot to me. Um, I did go to school for health and phys ed, and I went all the way for my master's degree. I wasn't able to find a teaching job. So two years ago, I started my own home daycare. It's actually three years ago now out of my home. I love being home with the kids, but it's very stressful. People think it's like the greatest job in the world. It's really not. <laughs> um, and then I feel this way because like it's very long hours. I get up at 4 a.m. and then I have, the kids come at six and they're here at six o'clock at night. It's very draining. By the time they leave, I'm like so exhausted. I can't even like do anything with my kids because I'm too tired. This is before I found coaching, by the way. Um, let me see what else. And you don't make much money doing it. I felt very burned out. And then in July of 2014, I met Natalie in um, a mom group. And she actually, like, she didn't even talk to me about coaching. She actually sent, she sent me a message, but it wasn't meant for me. And it was about beach body, and I'm like, "Oh, but you do beach body?" And then I started talking to her about it. And then I actually signed up in October of 2014. And before I even got into beach body, I like was dreaming, I was wishing, I made excuses for everything in the book. Um, let me see. And I always knew in the back of my mind, I, there, there, there's something more for us out there. Like I started my own business. I went to school, I got married, I had kids, and I'm like, there's just something else that I want to do with my life. And then I just feel like Rich and the kids, like they just deserve so much better than what they're getting. And then I, again, before I found coaching, I was constantly complaining and miserable. I started, I actually did not have money. I did not have credit. I mean, we have no money. So when I tell you we have no money, we have no money. We have no credit cards, nothing. I sold stuff online to become a coach and to start working out again. Um, this business has supported and motivated me to stay accountable, not only for myself, but others as well. And I'm no longer, I'm no longer dreaming. I'm no longer wishing. This is what I wish I had, but I'm, I'm actually doing something about it. I'm becoming more positive and I'm surrounding myself with healthy, positive, driven, passionate women. That's my story that I wrote down. <laughs> what do you think? Okay. So first of all, there's like a ton of stuff in there that I had no idea at all. Really? <laughs> Like not I, I posted this before. Like I posted the story, but I don't know who's seen it. Who's seen it? But but go ahead. Well, I mean, the thing about your story, like we've talked about already, is that your story is not just one story. There are some mm -hmm. aspects of your story, and there's a bunch of different aspects of your story that can actually go off into different stories right. from yours. Um, like when you started off, I wouldn't normally start with, you know, I have, I'm married, I have kids that are this, this, and this, like definitely that's a part of your story, but right. you know, you don't need to go into too many specifics. I, you know, where you said I gained, you know, I was super fit. I was running this. I was a personal trainer or I was a fitness trainer. And then I gained 14 pounds, but I didn't think it was that much. That's actually going to relate to a lot of people who, you know, like smaller women who 14 pounds is a lot to them. Like 14 pounds is a lot to me. Mm -hmm. um, well, my whole pregnancy, that's what I gained. Yeah. Because I was lifting when I was pregnant with him. So that's why I didn't gain that much weight. <laughs> else you care. Oh, my God. Like, oh my. Different things. You need to like brain dump everything from your life that has to do with how you can inspire somebody else. Like 
you can talk about those kinds of things on your posts. You don't have to say like, hi, my name is Lisa. I'm married to, you know, like all of this stuff on every mm -hmm. post. You just talk about one aspect of your story. Um, but there's like a ton of different things that you said in there, how you, how you um, sold stuff to become a coach. That is amazing. Yeah, I told Natalie, I'm like, okay, this is where I'm at. I would like, I would message her every single week. I'm like, okay, all right, I have this much saved. Okay, I have this much saved. I would tell her. Yeah. You need to talk about it. You <laughs> really do because price objections are freaking huge. And you could have very easily been like, I can't do it. I don't have the money. But you didn't. <laughs> you know, you like, you took the initiative, you saved up, which so many people can do, but they don't. Like, you should be sharing that stuff for mm -hmm. sure. Um, but I mean, like, like I said, there's so many different aspects of your story that you need to break those down into different stories just okay. because that, that can be huge. I mean, you can kind of like go through that whole story and kind of smush it together, but I think that you should break them down into individual kind of stories. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Anybody else want to add anything? I didn't know anything about Lisa's story. Um, I know that she runs a daycare. I've heard that before. Um, the rest of it, I, I really, I didn't know any of that. Um, I see if I were to uh, Facebook stalk you, I'm pretty sure I'd see that you, you know, working out and see you with your kids. But I, I think that's pretty much the only thing that I really knew about your story. So that was nice yeah. to know. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I like the idea of a brain dump because Every single one of us, even if it doesn't directly relate to health and fitness, every single, your baby doll, every single one of us has something that is completely different. Like, I have things in my life that are completely different from every single one of you, and, you know, each of you has something that's completely different than each of us, too. So, that's what makes our story so fun, and people will follow you more on Facebook and be interested in you if they don't know what the next thing to expect is. And I also wanted to add, Josh Spencer started off the same way as you. He had to sell things. <laughs> and he's a top coach. Yeah. Um, I was just going to say that what I think you need to do is um, the stuff that you shared, like I didn't know any of that stuff either, but I think that you need to focus on, um, like a lot of people know what you're, what you're doing now. Um, and I think that you just need to relate it back to how you felt before. I think that's mm -hmm. like one of the big things with you is like, I, I go to your Facebook and you're like, yeah, I just did my workout. And then like, so, but how does your workout relate to before? So if you tell them, you know, like, I'm so excited I'm able to work out again. I can work out from home. And then this is what I used to do. Like Angel was saying, you gotta, you gotta kind of like share those little bits and pieces of before. You know what I mean? Okay. The whole point of us sharing our stories is to relate, like have our followers relate to us so that they are inspired to make that same change that we did. That is why we share our stories. We share to inspire and to motivate. So if you're not sharing any of that stuff from your past, nobody's going to know about that and nobody is going to further be inspired from that. So keep that in mind. Definitely like sit down and focus on each of those individual kinds of things and figure out posts that you can make around those. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to go to Don. Are you able to talk? You're like a light. <laughs> oh. Okay, go. You're on mute. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're literally grocery shopping with me. Yeah, that's what I thought you might be doing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I timed it, and I tried to get it better, and then I, like, like, oh, I have to go get my son. Oh, I have to go grocery shopping. <laughs> um, so, you guys are in Walmart with me. Um, basically, um, my story started, um, I want to say, six years ago. Um, I just had a bad breakup. Um, was kind of going through things, decided to get into shape. Um, seven months after I started, I found out I was pregnant with my son um, and was still healthy through my pregnancy, um, continued to eat well, exercise, um, stay active. Um, after my son was born, I, again, continued to stay active, watch what I was eating, um, worked out 
five or six days a week. Um, and he was about, I want to say nine months old. And I basically, my health took a shit. Like I stopped caring about what I was doing. Um, really how I was eating. Um, stress got the best of me. Um, I also have a very large family history of diabetes. Um, three of my family members have died of it thus far. Um, my, my dad, three years ago, was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Um, and I just kind of, that hit me a little bit. Um, and I've struggled the last, I want to say year almost, um, going back and forth, health issues, um, trying to find something that worked for me, something that I wanted to do. Um, and last month, I honestly couldn't tell you, something clicked one night and it was like, I'm done. Fuck this. I'm going to make it better. And I did literally woke up the next morning and was like, my life is going to change and I'm going to make this happen for me. Not only for me, but for my son because he sees me. And I love the fact that I can do all of this from home and he is still involved. He is still next to me. He gets to be included. Um, help me with meal prep. How he even gives me ideas, <laughs> as simple as that sounds. He inspires me to be better and he inspires me to help other people be better for their children. You know, I'm a single mother. I know what single mothers go through every day. Um, and to help them get better literally makes me smile. Like, you know, I mean, somebody else's happiness is a lot more to me than what people really understand. And I just want to make sure that that's what they get and that I'm there to give them a reason to keep going and to smile and to say that they didn't give up. That's, and that's me. <laughs> Wow, you have like a lot of really powerful points in your story. <laughs> I mean, like those are huge pain points. I'm so sorry that members of your family passed from that. But I mean, how huge is that to you to make that snap you into reality? Like, oh my God, this is what can happen to me. Um, and, you know, diabetes is so common in our country now, just in our day and age because of how... <laughs> eat. So a lot of people are going to relate to that. I mean, how many people just popped up while you were talking saying that they're, they know somebody that passed from diabetes? Um, you know, that's, that's going to link to a lot of people. And it, uh, as sad as it is, you know, you're taking that and you're making yourself better because of that. Um, and just for a future with your son too. And the stuff about including him, that is really, really good to touch on in your stories and in your posts because so many people use their kids as excuses. Um, and that is not only empowering to yourself, it's going to help inspire other people to do that too. Um, I would try and think about like, why do you think something just snapped? Um, I mean, I, I know from my own story, you know, with depression, something just clicked one day that I was like, I just, I can't take this stuff anymore. I need to get better. Um, so I understand that, but just try and see, like, see if there is something there. Uh, because if there is, you can always expand on that from there. But other, I mean, like, really, you have some really, really sad, but, you know, inspiring points in your story. Does anybody else want to add anything? All right, so we have eight minutes left on this call. So um, Cassidy is next. Are you going to be able to make it through that eight minutes, or should I just stop the call and then we'll get back on? Or are you good? I would probably stop the call and then okay. get back on because I don't think I'm going to make it through in eight minutes. Okay, so this is probably going to be a two-part call because I do want to, you know, help everybody on this. So I'm going to jump off now. Well, actually, does anybody have – a story that will be within seven minutes. Get it in on this and not take a long time.
yeah, this is why I was choosing people. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to click off. Everybody just click right back on, okay?